Alright guys, so here's another video, and this one is going to be an update on Project Blue Jay, aka the jeep that's sitting on the side of my house that looks like a fucking graveyard that has somehow resurrected itself to look like an utter pile of geese shit. So where are we putting the bridge clothes sign? <laughs> <laughs> you guys um, don't want to know. <laughs> I'm probably going to zip tie that up in my room, okay. so um... You know, I'm just going to zip tie it to my door, or like bolt it to my door, so whenever my mom has to come bug me, she's going to walk up and go. What if we bolt it into the, what if we bolt it into the ceiling of the Jeep, or the roof of the Jeep, on the outside, this way when the cops chase you down the road, they'll know who you're looking for. They're going to chase me through a trail. I'll pull over on the road, but if I'm like next to a trail that I know, and the cop lights me up. <laughs> Thank you, bitch. <laughs> Catch me, motherfucker. <laughs> um... Nothing a fur buffer. So we have a uh, we have a door panel that's recently rewelded on, we've, or we've, a door that's recently rewelded back. We've uberly stripped the interior like meticulously to the point where there's no ducting anywhere. I mean, um, I was the first guy to assemble the dash and yeah. reassemble it, and then it came back apart again. So we're yeah. doing good tonight. So I I have like a. Dude, I bought, like, a this box really of funny. 30 LEDs, and literally it was just, like, a giant box of LEDs for the dash and everything like that, and I'm just too fucking lazy to install them. Um, but my biggest issue at this point is uh, I tried siphoning gas out of the, uh, the line that went to the fuel rail, and I broke the plastic fitting off of the fuel rail like a jackass. So I have to buy that fitting, and I have a Pocket duct tape. Flex seal tape. Uh, yes. Dude, it's gasoline and 30 PSI. That flex seal tape, dude. I know, that shit means business. If you guys want to know how to, like, make body panels stick to stick to each other, like, without if, zip ties. If like, you need any sort of taping shit, it's... Like, it's, I think this shit's better than zip ties, honestly. So, we also have them little commercials for the flex seal can joints. Well, they've got um, they've got the stuff in a roll. It's like like sort of like duct tape in a roll. It's expensive. It's like thirteen bucks. Yeah, thirteen like is what bucks. we spent on it. It's four inches wide, I think. Yeah, it's like four inches wide, but By like five feet. It's five, good, five or six it's, feet. So it's a good chunk of tape. Yeah. But the, let me tell you, this shit will stick to anything, and it will never. For come how out. much you're paying for it, I definitely think you're getting your. Amount. You're, you're definitely getting your money's worth. Like that stuff, it it means business. Like if you think like a. Southern guy sitting on his porch with a shotgun, like staring at a black dude walking down the street, means business. No, like this tape this, means this business. This tape means more business. Um, That's what we should do. We'll just make everything on that cheap out of tape. Uh, might save you a couple of dollars in parts. Save me a lot in welding wire. <laughs> yeah. Do you trust duct tape for roll tubes? I just realized this thing is still sick. Minty. That's from my Snapchat rant, which I would tag my Snapchat down in the description, but um, it's, I'm too lazy. To and really... it's not not good. No, why not? Um, you might clean the fuck thing. Um, but yeah, so the Jeep is semi half decently okay ish, which is more than we can say for the Ram. Um. God, that's fucking sad. The Jeep is actually, like, more reliable the, the than the The Jeep Ram. might be more reliable than the Ram. Dude, the front axles are out of it. The front different... Oh, yeah, the Dana 30 that was under the front end. Gone. So. It's fucked. I gotta re either rebuild it, replace it, or... Fuck it. Upgrade. Fuck so. it, man. Can I cut this thing more? No, I'm good. Fuck. Cool. But, um, so the Dana 30 is fucked, uh, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, by the way, I left Josh's knife on my roof and fell off on Ty Rude. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> that was what was rattling on top of my truck when I got out to check and see what was on top of the truck. This is the only guy I know that would leave a knife sitting on top of a truck and not even think about having the common courtesy to move it. And then I'm the only guy I would know that would not turn around and go back to try and find the knife. Well, it's not my knife. It's like a $10 Amazon knife anyway. I don't think either one of us gave that many fucks. My Gerber's worth more, and I lost my Gerber. Okay. My dick's worth more. You heard it here first, folks. My dick's a little cheaper. You're not black, Tony. 
apparently. That one, I'm sorry. Do we have to go into the comments about your ex? Um, shut the fuck up. It's snowing. So, uh... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the Jeep is... Well, it's, at least it's snowing for me. It's raining in her world right now. The, the Jeep is semi-more reliable than the Ram. Um, but either way, hopefully Project Blue Jay won't catch too many more hiccups. At this point, it's a lot more solid of a build than my own truck, which is actually kind of sad because... Might almost be more solid than my truck. Um, well... Ever, almost anything would be more solid. Yeah, I've got a knife in my hand. Watch your mouth. <laughs> you want a knife through the thigh? I can fix it, too. I just fucking put it in my jugular. That's not enough fun. You and and then fun. upload this to fucking YouTube. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It, I said he could. <laughs> all right. For all the 12-year-olds on, on this video, I am so sorry. <laughs> For all the 12-year-olds watching this video, do not ever... Life doesn't get better. It fucking sucks. Life yeah. sucks a lot. So, um... It's like 3 in the morning. We're making a Is fuck... it 3 a.m.? Yeah. It's 3.30. But either way, it's 20 degrees outside. We're sitting in here. I've got this nice ass hat on, and it's warm as shit. And we're making it snow. Making it rain on them bitches. <laughs> I got... I'm the... I'm at, go, go <laughs> Y'all almost watched me get shanked by accident. Go home, Dad. You're drunk. I am home. And you are slightly intoxicated. Daddy. <laughs> mm, no bueno. Bill Cosby. <laughs> All right, guys. So there was the update on Project Blue Jay. Um, project better than the Ram. Project... Um, Ted, I'm gonna Project stab. Holy Fuck. <laughs> Project Holy Ted, I'm gonna stab you. I think you'd rather stab. Actually, I'm just not gonna say that on YouTube. <laughs> Remember, these are not actual threats. We we love each other very much. Mommy and Daddy will never get the divorce. This is babbling bullshit with all for retards and shitbox. So. Thanks for listening. We're literally just babbling bullshit. Um. But yeah, as for Project Blue Jay, um, I literally just had to weld the door hinges back to the body itself. Uh, that was a whole debacle on its own, considering I didn't have the door jacked up while I was welding, so I welded the wrong Like way. a dickhead. Yeah, I, I fucked that up, so I had to fix my own fuck up. But after spending about five hours on trying to just finagle shit, uh... Yeah, I got it all back together. All the doors and body panels are aligned. The only body panel that isn't aligned is the, uh, holy fuck. The only th body panels that ain't aligned are the front fenders with the front, like, fiberglass fascia Which or whatever. Which he done fucked up. So, yeah. Um, other than that, everything is pretty much straight. Uh, Unlike you. But, uh, this YouTube chat, this YouTube video is more than just Project Blue Jay update. You're such a faggot. Um, By the way, Merry Christmas. Arguments. So that's that's the update on Project Blue Jay. Again, as we've said in the past, however many videos we've made, hopefully you'll see more of me, or maybe not, depending on how you people like me. Well, whether they like it or not, I'm just going to tag you in videos anyway, so... Whatever. Okay. So, this has been the Offer of Retard and the Shitbox Guy. Thanks for watching. Um. Okay, we'll I talk hate saying, more. I hate saying this, but uh, if you guys actually like babbling bullshit with us um, while we drink and just bullshit, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments, and if you Maybe enjoy... Maybe we can do sometime. I'm good with that. If you guys feel like it at all, subscribe. So you can actually, like, you know, help my channel out. Um, maybe your friends would like to know just as much bullshit that I have to go through living my life as a young adult working a full-time job. You... Alright, so, like, my, my days differentiate between, like, the week or whatever... This guy. Insert 20 minute rant here. Um, I work seven days a week. Good luck finding a time where I'm off. And if I'm off, I'm usually drinking at home.
That's how my weeks go. And then, yeah. So uh, it. I drive fast cars. I hang out with fast women, and I drink. Catchy. <laughs> Uh, I can't complain with that. That was the good best one. part's the drinking. <laughs> <laughs> drinking. Fucking cheers. Insert that twenty one. minute bamble here. Either way, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Off Road Retards and the Shipbox Guy. So, like he just said, just let it play. Just let it play. Oh my ass, fucking hurts. Jesus Christ, I felt like a black eye just came up behind Maybe me. We should do like a blue for real. Oh shit, maybe this is still in the video. Oh, shit. <laughs> Turn it off.